Welcome to Media Scavenger Hunt. It's your guy Walter, and tonight we'll be reviewing Constantine, episode 5, titled Dance Voodoo. Constantine's surprisingly in depth knowledge of a series of crimes in New Orleans gets the attention of Detective Jim Corgan. Constantine joins forces with Papa Midnight at the voodoo ritual that allows people to speak to the dead, takes a turn for the worse. Wow. A lot of things happen in this episode right here. So media scavenger hunters, you know what we're about to do. We're about to get our binocular lenses focused and zoom in right to it. Real quick, if anybody's read the Hellblazer series, we know that Jim Cordigan will become the specter. The Spectre is Jim Cordigan in the, is the original human host of the Spectre. A murder in life as a police detective, his soul was bound to God's spirit of divine vengeance. vengeance. Using, his Using his conscience and willpower, he controls the Spectre force and gives it a human perspective. Episode 5 starts off with a drunken guy stumbling out of a bar in New Orleans and into an alley to relieve himself of spirits he'd been drinking. A sister girl talking on her cells, walking down the same dimly lit alley. She bumps into a woman wearing a surgical mask who asks her, Do you think I'm pretty? The woman slices and stabs the sister up with some, with some scissors. And just when the guy who we find out is an off-duty police yells, stop, freeze, and empties a whole clip up into the woman as she runs off unharmed. Meanwhile, John and Chaz is helping Zed with her psychic abilities. John refers to it as using a muscle. You got to work the muscle to strengthen the muscle. As well as she gets another location on the mystic map. She also has a vision of a young boy and his mother teaching him how to shoot. This comes in a later in play in the episode. Where at? You guessed it, media scavenger hunters. Now, you know we can't have, we can't go to the Big Easy without voodoo. And who do we know that does voodoo so well? Papa Midnight. It seems that Papa Midnight is channeling spirits of dead loved ones for money. He did three of them, as a matter of fact. A model, a teenage hitchhiker, and a husband. But something is messing with his mojo. And these spirits is now roaming the earth, killing. So John Constantine and Papa Midnight have to work together. They work out a deal where, one, John's debt will be paid, as well as John will get help from beyond from Papa Midnight's sister. More on that in one minute. And John Constantine's big leather bag, he pulls out a bracelet with a clear stone in the middle. Says an incarnation over it and it starts to glow blue. Meaning that there's a spirit or ex-human around and around recently. Green means that there's something still in the area. And red... <laughs> Well, as John told Zeb, we don't want to be around when it starts to glow red. Here's three things that your binoculars should have been focused on. Number one, Chaz is an immortal. Later on in the season, we, they will explain what type of immortal he is. Number two, Zed is a runaway. And she has a future vision of what will or what will happen or become of Jim Cordigan. And number three, Papa Midnight has a sister named Sedalia, who's in the underworld, a.k.a. Hell, and it's because of him. But he communicate, he still communicates with her via a spell and symbol engraved skull. And he asks her for help for many reasons, like why is my mojo messing up, as well as can I trust John Constantine on this one joint mission. After they send all three spirits back to the beyond, John and Papa Midnight share a drink, and John brings up, you know that favor I asked you for? It's time for you to pay on it. The favor he asks is, he wants 
Papa Midnight to communicate with his sister and ask her what is happening up here. Why is all this evil running amok? Now she tells him her brother Papa Midnight is a favorite for John. She tells, tells him that one, you can't stop the big evil that's coming. It's beyond your scope. You're going to need help in so many words. And two, speaking of help, Somebody you know that's close to you will betray you. This weighs heavy on John's heart. Thank you. Good looking and much gratitude to anybody that like, comment, or subscribe to the channel. And remember, media scavenger hunters, have a blessful day or night. Keep your binocular lenses focused and your zoom in tight.